Six years after the fall of the Taliban, Afghanistan's wedding industry is booming. And nowhere more so than in Kabul, where gaudy wedding palaces have mushroomed up across the city. Lavish weddings like these were banned by the Taliban, outlawed as sinful, along with the music and dancing that goes with them. But now, despite the country's struggling economy, celebrations in grand style are back and bigger than ever. Mr. Hazmat Ullah is the owner and manager of this establishment, the East Diamond Wedding Hall. I always like it, because doing this, we're always involved with the people's happiness. It's a highly competitive business, and the fleet-footed waiters are one of Mr. Ullah's trademarks. Why are they running? Because if the waiters are late, the guests will go crazy and beat them. <laughs> Mr. Ullah started his first wedding hall in Kabul after the Taliban fell in 2001. At that time, there were just four halls serving all of Kabul's weddings. Now, there are more than 80 grand halls like Mr. Ullah's. I know a lot of people who, even though they can't afford this, will just borrow the money and put on very extravagant parties. It's because they don't want to be outdone by their relatives. It doesn't matter whether or not he has money. Not long ago, the poorer people threw their parties at home, but now they too are feeling compelled to rent a wedding hall and go for broke. It's not uncommon for the son of a civil servant making less than $100 a month to throw a wedding costing $12,000. The biggest ticket item is the catering. In this culture, dinner for 600 to 1,000 guests is common. The food service, that's the hardest thing. At any one time, Mr. Ula's kitchen can accommodate meals for more than 2,000 people. It's a self-contained food factory where cooks man giant cauldrons brimming with Kabuli rice. Think about it. The food came from the first floor to the fourth floor. If you want to try it, just go to the first floor and run up to the fourth floor. You'll see how hard it is. As in most every Afghan wedding, this is just the men's hall. By tradition, all women guests are in another room. The sex is strictly segregated and so the men's side will not see the bride, and they barely even see the groom, who makes only a brief appearance before joining his bride on the women's side. With the meal over, the dancing goes on till midnight. While any wedding is a joyous occasion for family and friends, the growing costs have meant that a generation of newlyweds are starting out life heavily in debt. But despite it all, Many say the financial burdens are swept away by the happiness of this all-important event. All this came with peace and stability. The people found hope again. This is what the people want, so we have to provide it. And as long as the number of customers keeps increasing, then the number of wedding halls will also rise.